If you're looking for the best in wall speakers, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Palk Audio R85i. Palk has a big reputation in some quarters for producing quality speakers. They not only produce the standard bookshelf and freestanding ranges, as a company, they are also well respected for the other areas in which they operate. Outdoor, marine, and automobile speakers are also on the agenda. They know what they are doing. Let's take a look at what they offer for speakers in the wall. These are a pair of speakers that deliver Polk's usual quality sound reproduction. They can be positioned anywhere in the room, but are best suited to a plasterboard or drywall. They use the space in the wall to generate a rich, warm sound. They are great for putting your music into an extra room or just adding to the sound potentials for a home cinema system. From such a small package of just 8 inches comes a lot of typical Polk volume and sound. These come at a very affordable price for the pair and could be considered as the best in wall speakers for the money. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Polk Audio 255 ic RT. The 255 ic has a strong build with quality component parts. It is again quite a large speaker measuring 14.8 inches by 9.8 by 9.3 inches and weighs 6 and a half pounds. It is no lightweight system. But then Polk does not do lightweight. The speaker needs depth in the cavity of the wall of 3.3 inches to fit. You will need to make a fitting hole of 13.1 by 7.6 inches. This unit is designed by Polk to be the center speaker of a system. Ideally, then it will be placed centrally in your room. It has a 5.25 woofer with polypropylene cone, also a 1-inch silk slash polymer dome tweeter on a swivel mount. It is designed with Polk's power port and dynamic balance sound systems. This two-way speaker will be suitable for most surround sound systems. The dual band design base ports deliver a smooth low frequency response. The 255 ic has a decent frequency response of 30 HE to 27,000 HE. They have a power rating of 150 watts at peak. The number 3 position is held by Klipsch R5650W Roman II. Klipsch needs little introduction as manufacturers of high quality speaker systems, and this in wall speaker is a worthy addition to their range. It has a 6.5-inch woofer that provides a big bottom end and comfortable mids and a 1-inch titanium dome tweeter. The sound from the tweeter is delivered through the Klipsch Tractrix horn at the top of the unit. The woofer has that familiar copper spun finish well known in Klipsch designs. Both component parts produce a powerful, clear sound. This speaker has an impressive frequency range of 40 HC to 23,000 HC and can handle up to 200 watts peak. That equates to about 100 RMS. Very powerful for an in-wall design. They have a slimline speaker grill that can be painted to suit your home decor if required. Each speaker is sold as a separate unit, and you will need to buy the kit for installation. It is a stylish system and is surely one of the best in-wall speakers for home theater you can buy. It is a little more expensive than some other systems, but it is quality with a great sound. Next at number 4, we have Bose Virtually Invisible 891. This is Bose so we don't need to go too far into the quality of the build. Excellent as it always is, they have decided to make a statement with these speakers. Though, each speaker measures 13 by 9.4 inches. Big and powerfully built matches the sound output. A peak rating of 200 watts, with Bose themselves recommending an average of 100 watts for continual use. To drive the sound, they have a 7-inch woofer that constructed from a metal-based composite material. Bose uses this design as it produces excellent quality and keeps distortion to a minimum. An interesting design feature is the double tweeter idea located at the top. The tweeters are angled in different directions. The idea is to spread the high frequency sounds around the room. They also have the composite as their principal design material. The number 5 position is held by JBLS6 Roman II, another speaker company with a big reputation. They've been creating high-quality audio equipment since 1946. No long introductions need. Straight to the speaker itself. It has a nice design that is not ostentatious and so will fit neatly into any home decor. You can use it with the grill off or on. If you leave it on, then the grill design resembles an air convent. Perhaps that was the design idea. 
You can paint the grill you so wish to fit your decor. Driving the sound is a 6.5 inch woofer with a titanium laminate cone. It is set in a rubber surround to help to reduce any potential distortion. Rubber surrounds also make the speaker durable and prolongs its use. High frequencies are handled by the 1-inch tweeter, which is also titanium laminate. It has been designed with a built-in swivel. This lets you change the direction of the sound. The frequency range is good at 38 HE to 20,000 HE, and the system will handle 80 watts. Both speakers have crossovers built in, which are set at 2800 HE. The number 6 position is dominated by Monoprice 3-way fiber in-wall speakers. Established in 2002 in the US, Monoprice offers a very wide range of electrical, audio, and other items for sale. This pair of speakers is a good example of their affordable products. They are built reasonably well and at a decent size with their overall dimensions of 14.1 by 10.0 by 3.9 inches. You will need to cut an area 12.8 by 8.7 by 3.6 inches to fit them. It has a wide frame and grill. The grill is attached with magnetic clips. Being white, it will fit into any room. However, depending on your color scheme, you might want to paint it, which is an option. They come with decent quality speakers. They feature a three-way system rather than the common two-way. For this, they have an 8-inch fiber woofer with a Kevlar cone and extra-large magnets. The Kevlar cone goes some way to reducing distortion at high output. It also delivers a clean bass sound. They are a budget system, so the overall sound and build quality are not as good as more expensive options. However, for the money, they represent excellent value. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Klipsch R5502 W Roman 2. The build is robust, as you would expect from Klipsch. It measures 3.5 inches by 8 by 17.8 inches and weighs 6.5 pounds. However, it is remarkably light considering its size. It is designed so that it can fit a variety of functions. Of course, it can be used just for music systems. For home cinema, it can be either the left, right, or central speaker. It has two 525-inch woofers that dominate the appearance. One is at the top of the unit if it is vertical, the other at the bottom. They have that traditional spun copper design that instantly means klipsch, and have ceramic cones. In the center of the speaker is the Tractrix horn that houses the tweeter, which is one inch with a titanium diaphragm. The horn will rotate through 90 degrees to allow you to accurately pinpoint your sound projection. The horn-loaded tweeter is a familiar sight with Klipsch speakers. It can raise the level of the acoustic output, but, and at the same time, it will reduce the potential for distortion. The speaker has a power rating of 130 watts at peak. That is 75 watts RMS. The number 8 position is held by Yamaha Anessa W760. We suppose we shouldn't be surprised if there is music involved to find Yamaha, the world's largest manufacturer of musical instruments, makers of audio products, of course, they will be here. Music is their thing. They even have cross-tuning forks as a logo. We have seen three speaker setups and speakers before, but you don't often see two woofers in the configuration. That is what we have here. Two 6.5-inch woofers placed either side of a tweeter in the middle in a three-way system. They have polypropylene cones, and the speaker has a rubber surround. Actually, they are rated at just 130 watts, so they are not very loud at all. But then ask if the sound is clear. Oh yes, no distortion here as you start to push the drivers. The panning effect works very well in providing a stereo effect. In between the woofers is a one inch soft dome tweeter handling the high frequencies. The crossovers are well placed to allow the mids to be clear and defined. Next at number nine, we have Levitin AE65. Like the founders of so many successful businesses in the US, Isidore Levitin arrived from Russia in 1906. The original business had nothing to do with audio and speaker cabinet design, and today it is only a part of their manufacturing activity. The Levitin AE165 is a pair of speakers that are designed primarily for home cinema use. They measure 12.3 inches by 10 by 8.8 .8 inches, and each weighs 9 pounds, and have a two-way design that gives you 100 watts of peak power. Featuring a 6.5-inch woofer and 1-inch dome tweeter manufactured by JBL, which ensures great sound quality. They are both titanium laminated to provide a clear and precise sound reproduction even at volume. Also, they are fitted with rubber surrounds to absorb vibration and to provide good performance over the frequency ranges, and have a frequency range of 38 HC to 20 KHC. They have been well designed with an SSP 
straight signal path crossover that reduces the risk of distortion. Other important designs are the swivel mounting system for the tweeter and good sound dispersion. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by 82W Silver Ticket. Silver Ticket was set up in the 1980s to provide quality home cinema products at great prices. They do a very impressive range of wall and ceiling mounted speakers. The 82W is an example, and if looks and styling were anything to go by, this is a winner. We must say, at first glance, it looked like an iPad with speakers. It is a two-way system for placing in a wall and has an 8-inch polypropylene cone woofer. It has a large 30-ounce magnet and a rubber surround to reduce vibration and potential distortion. This speaker has a frequency range of 50 HC to 20 HC and a peak power performance of 120 watts. That equates to a decent 60 watts RMS. The speaker is moisture resistant, so it can be used in a sauna or kitchen. It could also be used externally, providing it was under shelter and no direct contact with the weather. That's all for today. We upload tech product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.